Nay. Mr. and Mrs. JP felt good enough about the experience to sit down and write us an email. They commended the Smell Good Plumbers on their service and closed by saying they would use Mike Diamond on future services and recommend them to anyone in need of plumbing repairs. We love Mr. and Mrs. JP, and we'd love for you to read their testimonial and more before calling your next plumber. The address is MikeDiamond.com, or just call us at 1-800-446-MIKE. Contractor's license number 399-170. Nobody's clean. Nobody's clean in any of this. Yeah. And well, if nobody's clean, then nobody's dirty, right? Like when Syndrome said in The Incredibles... No. If everyone's super, then no one is. Gary and Shannon. Exactly. Right. Weekdays at 10 a.m. on KFI. Don't, hey, hey, if you're wasted, what are you doing going on television? Or, or the radio, for that matter. Or the radio, for that matter. Gary and Shannon, weekdays at 10 a.m. on KFI. KFI, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. That's what I'm saying. He said dilettante. A uh, dilettante's a good word. Now, let it. it. I don't have to spell the fancy words I use. Sean and Ken, weekdays 2 to 6 on KFI. KFI, AM 640. <laughs> First-time caller line is 818-501-4721. To talk toll-free from east of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From west of the Rockies, toll-free, call 800-618-8255. To reach George via Skype, use Skype name George97313. Send George a text message anytime at 818-298-6521. This is Coast to Coast AM with George Norrie. Well, this hour we're going to take your phone calls with Mark Mincola as we talk about his work, The Way of Miracles. Share your miracle story with us or a question. To all of you from Coast to Coast land, I'd like to take a minute and introduce you to our new partner in the show, Birch Gold Group. They are a trusted source to help all of us hedge against inflation. And you know, we're facing some massive price increases. They're all over the place in fuel beef, poultry, lumber, housing, everywhere. We need to protect ourselves and one surefire way is to do so by diversifying your retirement with precious metals from Birch Gold Group. With Birch Gold Group, the process is simple. You can convert your IRA or eligible 401k into an IRA backed by gold or silver. A hedge against inflation for sure and protect your retirement with gold or silver. Or how about this? You can even buy physical gold from them and have it delivered right to your place. Get your free info kit on precious metal IRAs by going to birchgold.com slash coast. Remember that. Thousands of satisfied customers, an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau, countless five-star reviews. Birch Gold can help you hedge against inflation as well. Go to birchgold.com slash coast. Invest in gold before it's too late. That's birchgold.com slash coast. Credit Karma Money is a new checking account that lets you win daily instant karma purchase reimbursements on items up to $5,000. And when you make a purchase between June 8th and June 30th, You'll be entered to win $1 million. Visit creditkarma.com slash winmoney. Instant Karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank, Inc. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. 
Do you know someone with a drug or alcohol problem? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. Stop the drug and alcohol nightmare. Call 800-296-1325. 800-296-1325. Are drug and alcohol problems hitting you too close to home? Get help right now. Insurance may cover everything. Call 800-296-1325. 800-296-1325. Paid for by the Detox and Treatment Health Line. And welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Dory with you, back with Mark Mincola with The Way of Miracles, is his book, which comes out next week. Mark, we talked to them briefly about spirituality and belief in miracles. What if somebody is a pure atheist, a non believer? Is that person going to get a miracle? You know, I've had patients who were atheists, and they had recovery experiences that were would have been this would you and I would describe as miracles. They would refer to them as something else. They would not necessarily say that they're a miracle from anything of the divine nature, obviously, but they think that they're a, a good fortune and that they they've changed energy. They move the energy. They 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 believe. They have positive thinking. So there there's a different descriptive there, but. They're not exempt from being open to the possibility of, of receiving the, the grace that we would associate with miracles. I think they just have, like I said earlier, a different reference for it. Do religious people, like priests and nuns, do they tend to get miracles? I I I, I think that come across that. Yeah, no, I've had I've had a couple I've had a couple people of the cloth that I've worked with over the years that have had miracle recoveries, and I think that it's more of a natural deduction on their, on their behalf. I think for them it's more of a natural thing to expect, to, to, to go through the acceptance and the expectancy and the creation component of it. I think that they're believers are predominantly because their, their faith is strong. And I think that because they have a religious connection, that faith actually strengthens their creational component. I think they go beyond acceptance and expectancy and the possibility of creation because of the depth of their faith. What if a miracle occurs to somebody who prays to the Almighty, promises something, whatever it may be, I'm going to be good, I'm going to donate money to the church, whatever it is, and doesn't follow through after the miracle has occurred, then what happens? Uh, it depends on whether you believe in karma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I think that there's this, you know, in my world, in my belief system, there's such things as karma, dharma, and moksha. Moksha is liberation from karma. But the karma is the kind of thing that I think you're talking about right now, that if you try to make a deal with, with the divine, so to speak, and you don't follow through, it's my sense that you're, you're going gonna, you're gonna to have to contend with that at some level, at some point in time. But, and that's just my belief in karma, but not everybody believes in karma, so I think that you get a different answer from somebody who rejects the notion of karma. Can the devil create a miracle? Uh, Interesting, huh? I, it's, a great, it's a great question. It's a great question. I think you'd have to answer that from a religious perspective. And my, my perspective is more spiritual. So, I mean, I, I think of good and evil as being kind of, I think of, I, I think of the Tai Chi circle. I believe in, I work with Taoism a lot. And I think that the Tai Chi circle is something that comes to mind as being an integration of dark and light. The, the separation is an illusion that, that you can't separate the dark from the light and the bad from the good. And they kind of work together. They, they, they essentially create a, and they weave process in place that actually becomes part of the equilibrium of life and the all-inclusive componentry of life. So I think that I can say evil and good go together, and I think that they produce together the potential for what we call miracles or, or grace. Um, I, I, don't, I don't get into conceptualizing the devil. Let's take some calls here, Mark, and see what we've got questions for you, maybe miracle stories as well. First time caller, Brian in Tampa, Florida. Welcome, Brian. Hey, George. Great talking to you. I'd like to you, Dr. McCullough. Um, I have a question. I kind of also maybe a miracle as well. Um, I, I, you know, I think what the miracle is, but I, I think also I don't feel like I've really turned the corner where I need to be to where I would be like, you know, like moving on the Parkinson's or like three miles a day. Um, I have muscular dystrophy. I was diagnosed with it in 2016. And it's pretty bad. I had 800 repeat. I might have muscular dystrophy with 800 
creep into my body. Over a thousand of these will go through me. I'd be dead. I'm 40, maybe 48 years old in August. Um, but, you know, and it, it didn't start off that way. I mean, I didn't start off just mid I had three officers they didn't know I had. And then I had a gallbladder move. I was about to rupture. I should have ruptured when they removed it. Um, and then I was getting over that, and I started having falls and the missteps. And not, you know, not just uh, didn't faint, but I, they, they, they test the test results. I had muscular dystrophy. Since that time, I've had a number of surgeries. I had an ICD put in my heart. Wow. I had the, you know, just the, the preventive measure because people were like, why talk about surgery? I had their hearts that stopped beating. You're a walking miracle, Brian. Well, perhaps, you know, I mean, my doctor said I'm an enigma because I, I still alone. I, I actually had a, a very good George last a couple of years before the pandemic. Uh -huh. I took my parents home until I, I thought I thought they were going to digest food. I went over 180 pounds to 120 pounds. Almost died then too. Oh my God! And thanks to some very good doctors and some very after a year they found out I had my, my pancreas wasn't creating uh, enzymes and I had to give a special medication for that. Well, let me ask Mark this. Mark, somebody's watching you. Somebody obviously has got. Uh, his uh, his goodwill at heart. There's no question. He's, he's he's being watched over. He's being sent a tremendous amount of grace. There's no question about the fact that he's blessed, and he's he's had repeated miracles. He's had more than one miracle. He's he's benefited from some prayer, perhaps some grace, some positive intention, some love from people around him, and I think that he's benefited immeasurably from it, and obviously he's of such good fortune he's had multiple healings and multiple miracle experiences. God bless you, Brian. That's wonderful. Super, super, indeed. And how important is love in this equation? Um, it's, it's my personal belief that it's the most important thing of all, and I think that the, the key is when we think of love, we tend to think of relationship love. We tend to think of a different concept of love than, than I think we're, is required for miracles to take place. I think love at a miracle level is a very different thing. It's, it's more soulful, it's more deep, it's, it, has a greater, it has a greater dimension to it, it has an, an unlimited componentry to it, it has a deep caring level to it, I think that it, there's a compassion level to it, and I think that there's, there's a feeling that when you want to help somebody to, to such an extent, somebody who's perhaps suffering from some disease or some ill fortune, and you can feel in your heart that you'd like to just wrap your hands around them and just make it all make it all clear, make it all go away, make it all heal overnight. That compassion that you have, that, that, that loving compassion is such a deep, powerful, powerful experience. The energy of love at that level, the healing level, is just unparalleled. It's, it's a very different kind of love. It's a much deeper kind of love. Absolutely. Let's go to Caleb in uh, Oceanside, California. Welcome to the program. Hi, Caleb. Hey, what's up? Good to have you with um, us. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, so I, I told the um the guy I called. I had a, a story about our our bus and how I turned, like how our lives just got turned around with that. But I was thinking there's actually like a whole progression of like the individual like miracles. I guess you could say that that have made up the last like year and a half of my life. And I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. And if that's okay. Sure. Go ahead. Um, perfect. Cool. So. Um, I met, um, myself, um, back, um, I've been before, I don't know if you remember or not, but, um, and, uh, we, um, had met in 2016 and, uh, went, like, a couple years, you know, like, living across the country from each other, just talking small talk here and there on the internet, and we ended up meeting, um, I started talking again in, um, October 2019, and, uh, I ended up flying out to California across the country and got, um, uh, met them in person again on November mm -hmm. 7th. You know, I'm getting married on the 21st of November, right? Um, the marriage, the wedding, was the strangest uh, synchronicity, coincidence, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, so, you know, you need to have a couple of people for your, your marriage. you got to have the, uh, the guy who's ordained, whoever that is, and you need a witness. You right. know, sign a document. And so... Um, and, and, he, and you and her. Four people, uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, it's, 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 it's crazy. So we get to the courthouse and we go up there and we get all the initial paperwork and stuff. And so it's very typical, you know, straight to the ceremony, whatever. We didn't really plan anything. It was a spontaneous um, kind of wedding situation. And we went out, we're in San Diego, and um, we're in front of the courthouse. It's like, you know, like all the boats, sailboats parked up and stuff. And um, when we had pulled up and parked in the parking spot, we noticed the guy standing there painting the sailboat. 
you know, like an artist or whatever, and didn't really think anything of it. And went inside and did the, um, the first part of the paperwork, and now we need a witness. Because it's just me and, and Bass and, and, and our uh, one-time friend that we brought with. So we're trying to figure out who do we get as a witness. We're looking around, and I said, it's the painter. <laughs> so it's the painter. I said, the painter. Right? painter will be our witness. So we go down here, we're walking down, we're like, all right, cool, so we're going to walk past him. I'm not going to say nothing, we're just going to walk in, you know, go to the car real quick. We're going to, you know, like, um, you know, smoke, you know, take shots, whatever. And, uh, and then we'll press the question. So we get in the car, we're chilling, we're trying to figure out how to approach this man with the question. And somebody says, I wonder what his name is. So we're sitting in the car, we all settle on our names. I settled on uh, Richard. I said, Richard. You're, and, you're guessing. You're all guessing? Well, I'm just guessing. Completely mm. guessing. You never met the guy. never talked to the guy. He didn't have any reason to even think or acknowledge him, uh, aside from him just standing there and walk past. Um, so we're figuring out how to ask the question. And um, Bass settles on the name Paul. He's all right, cool. Fantastic. So we, uh, we you know, finish up what we're doing. We get out of the car and, and walk up there and approach him and ask him, hey, you know, like, um, we're getting married here today. Um, do you want to be our witness? Because we got a self paperwork, et cetera. He's excited. He, he's like, sure, I was just packing up to get ready to go and everything. And, and so enthusiastically, you know, he offers to help us. And he asks what um, his name was, of course, because he's got to fill it on the paper. His name is Paul. <laughs> how does that happen? How does it happen? <laughs> how does it happen? All oh, that kind of lines up, you know, and, and, and you know, I want to bore you with the details, but we got married. And, and um, uh, in terms of sailboats, right, and the other day my mom called me on the phone and said, hey, you know, your grandpa is in the Navy, stationed out in the base down there, and wanted to know um, uh, about the Star of India. I don't know really how upset with it. Turns out, that's the name of the sailboat that we got married in front of. Um, you know, they had a dock there, like a museum or something, I suppose. It wasn't really a book haunted or whatever, but... It's just weird, weird thing. Weird thing. Call it a well, let's check in with Mark on this. Mark, I don't believe in coincidences. I think fate turns things and make them and makes them happen. I just don't believe in coincidences. No, I, I had lunch with Deepak Chopra one day, and I mentioned the word synchronicity, and he said, "No, Mark, it's synchro destiny." Yeah. And that's probably what happened to Caleb. I think Caleb, exactly, the, exactly my point. I think Caleb went through a synchro destiny experience, no question about it. Yeah, it would definitely was not a chance coincidence thing. The guy happened to be Paul. No, these things are these things are already created, aren't they? Good luck, Caleb. Keep checking in. Then you're our only Caleb who ever calls the show, so we remember you. Joe, east of the Rockies. Let's go to Long Island, New York. Welcome to the program, Joseph. Yeah, Mark, uh, you mentioned that this is a process. I think sometimes people don't see it this, that way. They don't see that they want that quick leap into the healing. But uh, my question is, you said a doubting tendency or like a doubting Thomas. Uh, realistically, people might have that tendency. Like, how do you deal with that tendency and, and then still try and go to the positive side to a degree? And then do you have any suggestions for detox people that are trying to detox? Of course. Great, great question, Phil. Number one, I think that one of the most important things we can do for people who are not inclined to, to believe in miracles and the possibility of miracles, and they tend to reject them, doubters, skeptics, whatever you want to call them, I think you need to kind of just have open dialogue. I think we're we'll focusing on the possibility and to just keep our eyes open and just observe and just to, to hold the process to the test. In other words, I tell that person if they would simply think about somebody that they love who needs the help, somebody who's sick, somebody who's had a hard time, somebody who needs the blessing, somebody who needs the miracle, who they care about. And you just spend a little bit of time observing them. And if you send them energy, talk to them about it, tell them you're sending them energy, you care about them, you're trying to heal them, trying to help them, trying to make a difference in their life, hoping for a miracle for them, praying for a miracle for them, just out of love and care. And then I think the objective is to just observe together what happens and just continue to dialogue with it and kind of nurture the process and just, as you go along, acknowledge the fact that things are getting a little better, a little better, a little better. Maybe, you, maybe you're having a, a miracle experience that we should acknowledge. And I think you can, you can work into it. I think you can evolve and develop it uh, gradually over a period of time. That's number one. Number two, sure, there's, there's a number of different ways to detox. Um, are you talking about detoxing 
Is it correlate to, to addiction and all, or are you just talking about seeing the body of? I have a particular friend that does one of these vaccines, and she's regretting it and wants to detox. She has a powder, she's making garlic, uh, cinnamon, uh, you know, I've heard uh, rock rose as a... Uh, as that's a box of remedies, that's a great remedy. But there's, my sense is that there's, um, there's a product called Des, a company called Des Bio, D-E-S-B-I-O, Des Bio, and they make a product called... Um, Chemtox, C-H-E-M-T-O-S, Chemtox, they're, they're homeopathic drops, they work really, really well. You just take, take them as directed, that's Des Bio Chemtox drops, they work really nicely. Have you heard that a lot of people have had reactions from the COVID shot or not? Yes, I have, I've had, I've, I've worked with a lot of people, I mean, it seems like every day of the week we have somebody coming into our offices who's had a negative reaction, a lot of, a lot of simple stuff, a lot of sore arms, a lot of problems like that, but we've had a lot of people who've had problems with nausea, vomiting, Migraine headaches, things like that. So we do see a lot of it. I just hope this variant they're talking about isn't uh, much. It's a little intimidating right now. It's not the kind of thing we want to be hearing about. No, it is. And let's talk again about prayer. Where do angels fit in when you pray? Well, I think from from my perspective, the universe is, is a big place, and I think that we we talk about the material universe the spiritual universe. I think the spiritual universe has spirits, angels, divine beings of a variety of different sorts, and I think that there's a lot of interaction. My sense is there's a lot of interaction between the spirit realm and the material realm. And when we pray in our material body, in our material being, we, we pray spiritually. And I think we are, for our answers, the, our prayers are answered from the perspective of Energy is delivered from the spirit realm to the material realm. I think those those are it's like a transference process. So I think that angels and I think that spiritual guides, spiritual beings of all sorts who are here to assist us, to help us. And I, and I believe many of them have been deceased relatives, people we've loved in the past that are spending really time helping us and, and, and nurturing us and helping our healing process and, and trying to help us create miracles. I think that's something we haven't talked about yet. My sense is that. I've had a lot of experiences with patients that have, that have actually spoken about having visions of their, their deceased mother coming back when they were sick, and the miracle came from the spirit realm, from the deceased relatives, the spirit of the deceased relatives, into the material life and made a difference with their sicknesses. So I've seen, I've seen a lot of that happen as well, so it's pretty remarkable. The spirit world tends to step it up to the plate, doesn't it? It sure does. There's no question about that. And I think that... Again, we're, 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 we're raised, for the most part, to believe in the material properties of life and to, to believe in matter-based matter -based living. But I think that you're absolutely right, George. I think that we've all had many spiritual experiences, and, and spirit tends to step up to the plate indeed, no question about it. Is it a miracle, Mark, if somebody uh, loses their job and then on their way home all depressed and uh, just un unhappy, they get a call from someone who says, we've got this job offer for you, it's come in? I believe it is, and I believe that's what I was saying earlier, that there's so many different ways that that miracles avail themselves. They're not always tumor remissions, they're not always dramatic. I think sometimes they're just like you say, they're, they're turnarounds with the, the job experience on the way home, like you say. Yeah. I think those kind of things happen more continuous, more readily, and I think that it's all part of the same beautiful process of transference from the spiritual world, and I think that it's, it's karma, we talked about that a little while ago. I think that there's a number of different issues that, that, are, that are being cultivated to our advantage that produce the result. Mark, we're going to take a quick break and come back with final phone calls with you in just a moment here on Coast to Coast AM. The name of the book, The Way of Miracles, Assessing Your Super Consciousness. Websites are all linked up at coasttocoastam.com. Coast Insiders, the new version of the Coast to Coast AM app is now available for iPhone and now Android 4.0 and above. Listen live or on demand anywhere, anytime. Go to coasttocoastam.com and download it today.
Marshall on the half. And when it breaks. I'm Phil Hewlett from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. We have another flex alert tonight. From 6 to 9, Cal ISO hopes you'll conserve energy to relieve strain on the power grid. It's official. You no longer need to wear a mask at work if you're fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Governor Newsom signed an executive oh, order to that effect yesterday. Pumps so rain so tied so the so city's so all-time so high temperature yesterday. The mercury topped out at 123 degrees. But it's a dry so 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 El Pollo Loco is testing a brand new delivery drone in Orange County this week. The drones can reach a top speed of 32 miles per hour and a height of 230 feet. And they can carry delivery boxes that yeah. weigh up to six and a half pounds. They say delivery will take about 10 minutes. Southland oh, weather from Tampa. Oh. Some clouds to start. So it'll be sunny later this afternoon. Highs will get into the upper 90s in the valleys of the Inland Empire. LA and OC metros, mid to upper 80s, low to mid 70s to beaches. Right now at 65 in Anaheim, Newport Beach, 64, Lawndale, 64, and in Encino, 70 degrees. We lead local from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Phil Hewlett. Making your way through Mid City on the eastbound side of the 10 in Arlington. Wreck blocking the two right lanes. CHP from the seniors slowing down a bit from Crenshaw Boulevard. A full freeway closure from Elysian Park. Northbound 110. All lanes shut down from Hill Street to the 5 for a Caltrans project. City of Anaheim, northbound 57, just past Ball Road. Big rig broke down in the right lane. Ontario, westbound 10 past Vineyard. Clean up after a big rig crash. Three right lanes are blocked. Little sluggish here from Holt. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Ryan Duggan. Hey, it's Dean Sharp. So, what did you do during the last power outage? My guess is not much because the power was off. Yeah, nothing disrupts your life, your comfort, even your safety like a power outage. And the power companies have spoken. Outages are the new normal. So here's my advice. Set up your home with a permanent emergency generator from my friends at Duffy Power, and it never has to happen again. Duffy is Southern California's generator expert. KFI trusts Duffy with our generators, and so should you. And with 0% interest financing and payments as low as $72 a month, your emergency power is totally affordable. From the largest commercial system to your unique home, Duffy Power will make sure your life, your comfort, and your safety won't be interrupted during the next hour or all the way after that. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Duffy Power. Pound 250, Duffy Power. Or find Duffy on the web at DuffyPower.com. That's D-U-T-H-I-E Power.com. Still buying bottled water? Really? Eliminate the cost and hassle of buying, well, it's wasteful plastic water bottles, what it does to the environment. So let me suggest a life source whole house water filtration system where you can have this delicious, clean, filtered water coming out of every tap in your home and there are no filters to change once they install it no maintenance at all you actually forget about it and what the life source water system does reduces the odor and taste of chlorine from your water and not only are you hydrating your body your skin your hair will thank you too you're buying directly from the factory uh, which provides installation and customer service for the life of your system. They've been around for 36 years here in Southern California. And if you're looking to join a growing team, LifeSource is hiring team members in your area. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009. Visit LifeSourceWater.com. LifeSource Water. Taste and feel the difference. Contractor license 147781. Hey, Kenny Winnie, what Rick told us is pretty cool. It's Ken. You know it's Ken. I need to hear you say Ken. Rick runs Gettle Academy, where we train bombers and AC techs. Rick told me something that made me so happy I had to wipe tears off my cheeks. A student said, I knew working at Gettle was going to be a great opportunity, but I didn't know it was going to change my life. That's what it's all about, Wacky Zacky. When you work at Ghetto, you know you matter. You know you're making a difference. Your customers and your co-workers love to see you coming, and they miss you when you're gone. Other companies expect you to upsell the customer, but Ghetto Techs have only one job. Make the customer happy they called us and trust us to fix their problem. Ken sits down with all the new people once a month and talks about the future and answers all their questions and learns all their names. I sit down with everybody once a month just to hear what's on their mind. Come to work for Ghetto. G-O-E, T-T-L. You'll be happier than you've ever been. Amco presents Bet You Didn't Know. Bet you didn't know that your car's transmission is made up of 800 pieces. Also, bet you didn't know that Amco's fixed over 40 million transmissions and that Amco offers a nationwide warranty. 
Are you still driving around with that check engine light on? Amco will read and report the trouble codes on your vehicle for free. Yes. Call them today. Mm -hmm. Sorry, call That's Amco, double A, MCO, KFI, AM640. More stimulating talk. The first time caller line is 818-501-4721. To talk toll-free from east of the Rockies, call 800-825-5033. From west of the Rockies, toll-free, call 800-618-8255. To reach George via Skype, use Skype name George97313. Send George a text message anytime at 818-298-6521. This is Coast to Coast AM with George Nori. Next hour, psychic and medium Michelle White Dub joins us to talk about things we can expect this year and for the years to come. And then we'll take your calls and readings later on in the program. Have you signed up yet to be a Coast Insider? It's 15 cents a day. I'm a Coast Insider because... And I have 24-7 access to the best show ever, Coast to Coast AF. Hi, it's Teresa. I love being an insider because the shows I listen to, I always appreciate the diversity of thoughtful insights it brings me on a variety of topics on Coast to Coast. The show has challenged me to be, think deeper and to broaden my horizons. And you can sign up to be an insider by going to coasttocoastam.com. It's right at the top of the homepage. It says Coast Insider. Fill it out. Again, it's 15 cents a day. Looking for ways to boost your immune system? Here you go. HealthyLooking.com has brought you stem cell-based products for the skin and hair growth and is now offering a stem cell wellness kit to protect your body's stem cells and assist your immune system. Here is Dr. Malay with more. Whether it's physical activity, obesity, diet, smoking, low on hormones, stress, Sleep disorders or your age can be supported by reducing inflammation and aiding the body to heal itself appropriately. A stem cell is a cell waiting to be told what it needs to be. If there is inflammation, that inflammation needs to be stopped. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, kidney disease, various types of cancer, depression, Alzheimer's disease, autoimmune disorders, osteoporosis, even fatty liver are chronic signs of inflammation and can be aided by supporting the body's ability to protect those cells that it needs. And that is the purpose of any stem and adapt stem together, supporting the body to be the best it can be. Dr. Malay, how will I feel after taking Adaptostem and Immustem. The Immustem is going to have an immediate effect, but I guarantee you that your immune system is starting to function better after 24 hours. You put Adaptostem along with it, you will feel it in 30 minutes. Order now at HealthyLooking.com. The Stem Cell Wellness Kit from Dr. Malay protects your body's stem cells and will make you feel better faster. The Stem Cell Wellness Kit with Adaptostem and Immustem and your free gift relax all is only available at HealthyLooking.com or to at 800-563-3980. That's 800-563-3980. Don't forget to enter promo code George for free shipping. George's stem cell wellness kit at Healthy Looking. That's Healthy Looking. Remember the saying, if you love something, set it free, and if it doesn't come back, it was never yours to begin with. Well, when it comes to your identity, the folks at LifeLock are calling hogwash. All these nights working overtime, saving up all that money, paying off all the debt, and now some identity thief wants to try and set it free? They say that's crazy talk, and we agree. That's why LifeLock by Norton helps monitor your info and alerts you to potential identity threats. If you do become a victim, a dedicated U.S.-based specialist will be there to help fix it. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. But when identity thieves try to take what's yours, you don't have to take it lying down. Save up to 25% off your first year by calling 1-800-LIFELOCK or go to lifelock.com. Use promo code GEORGE25. That's promo code GEORGE25 for 25% off at LifeLock.com. You'll be glad you did. LifeLock.com. 
Hey guys, try Legends XL Male Sexual Enhancement. It's clinically shown to promote blood flow within 60 minutes. Its powerful nitric oxide booster works with the first use. It enhances your sexual performance, stamina, sex drive, and confidence. Legends XL. And the best part? You don't need a prescription for Legends XL. It's available at Walgreens and other fine retailers. Look, it works for me, and it'll work for you too. So just try it. Legends XL. Complete info at ProphaseLabs.com. Oh. Have you wanted to speak a new language and oh, thought it would be too difficult? Then try Babbel. Babbel starts by teaching you words and phrases that gradually get more complex. Soon, you're practicing short conversations. So in 15 minutes a day, you'll be speaking a new language in a few weeks. Babbel is built around real life. It teaches you practical conversations that you will actually use. Babbel, language for life. Celebrating 10 million subscriptions sold. Now try Babbel for free. Just go to Babbel.com today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Welcome back to Coast to Coast. George Norrie with you. Our final segment with Mark Mancola. Mark, how do people watch the movie The Way of the Miracles? They can actually go to a website. It's thewaymiracles.com. And that'll link them up. And actually, there's advanced sales that are taking place as we speak. And again, like we said, next Friday, I think it's the 26th, if I'm not mistaken, is the release, the official release date. So they can go to the Springfield, Illinois is with us. Welcome to the program. Hi, Kimberly. Good to have you with us. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Hi. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to share. Um, it, it's kind of a simple story, but I find it very gracious and... Um, a blessing to me that wow, I, I felt my nice. son had a, so a guardian angel with him at 10 months old. Um, my uh, husband was stationed at a quarter in California and we lived um, on post hey, and we lived upstairs. And there was about 20, I would say, um, cement steps to go down and there was about a foot um, in between each step. And my husband thought I had Austin, and I thought he had Austin, and I went to use the restroom. And when I came out, I went to look for him, and like I said, my, my husband thought I had him, and I thought he had him. And when I opened the door to look down the balcony, I, you know, my... I swallowed my stomach because I thought for sure I was going to see my baby just, you know... Mm -hmm. on the, uh, um, down on the, you know, ground, I, I, it, it just wasn't a good feeling, but, um, we went down the steps, and, um, he was towards the end of the grass, not in the road, but close to the road, and he was safe, and I knew the only way, the only way that he could have got down there, Wait, he was even walking, um, I just knew the only way that he could have got down there was uh, a guardian angel, and I just knew it. I knew he had a guardian angel with him. He scooped down and, and I was swept him so, up. Yeah, I was so thankful. I, I mean, I was like, it was like the happiest moment in my life. Would you call that a miracle, Mark? I would. I, again, I think that miracles, as I said tonight earlier, miracles manifest in so many different ways. They're not always uh, a dramatic, uh, dramatic recovery. Sometimes they're just a, a dramatic experience. And I think that that's definitely a miracle. And I think that she's, she was clearly blessed and she received a great, a great miracle. And I think that there's a nothing, no greater nightmare than to think there's something wrong with your children. To think oh, not sure. safe. there could be something problematic. You could lose track of them or whatever. I think that she has experienced a beautiful miracle, no question about it. Mark in Baltimore, Maryland's with us. Hey, Mark, welcome. Thank you, George. I appreciate that. Passes on. Um, yes, um, I, I've got this little book here by Norman Vincent Peale. It's called Expect a Miracle and Make Miracles Happen. And it talks about...